and I'm gonna share with you what I, what I see. April 17th at two o'clock at night, he spoke to me. He said, enough is enough. He shook my whole house. It's two o'clock at night, like I told him. I'm coming home at two o'clock. You understand what I mean? And you, either you gotta make a tree. I was awakened and I was I had on a white shirt and blue shorts and I was transformed into the white into a white robe from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. I was made new. And instantly I was taken out of my house. And I was descending down into a building. And I walked past a brown table that had white flowers on it. The heavens rolled back like the Bible states it will as a scroll. And this time he was so bright I couldn't see him. He he was so bright and he began to speak and it had a window in it about 60 feet across and I could see people walking every day so it wasn't the days of Noah he said enough is enough and I stretched my hands out and I'm like why are you showing me this I've been, I've been seeing for a long time didn't want to see it and he said he began to speak he said enough is enough he repeatedly said enough is enough so that's when I looked up I saw something moving at the speed of light I understand that one day to the most size like a thousand years and a thousand years as into one day I looked up and seen it real time and I saw something like a falling star, but it was a missile and it obliterated. Do you know what we're doing as Hebrews in Chicago? Murdering. We're murdered. We're murdered. We're murdered. Big time. You know that. He told me this almost 10 years ago. He showed me this. And he said Jamestown, Virginia will be the last standing. Do you know what happened at Jamestown, Virginia? The first slave ship that, according to the, um, the southern tribe, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, mm. I was already here. The so-called real Indians of this land. We're brothers and sisters. The first slave ship of the SS Judah, I believe, it docked the name. It docked at, at Jamestown, Virginia. So guess what? Because we got a fraternal twin brother in the Bible. His name is Esau. You know the story Esau and Jacob? So you know that's our fraternal twin brother, right? And the Bible says that the nation that would do this would be swift as the eagle flying. Esau, on the back of your money, is the what? The eagle. He was, he's, that's, that's his nationality. It says the Romans. In the book of Obadiah, he's associated with the eagle. When they went to the moon, what did they say? The eagle has landed. Because he's our fraternal twin brother. The Bible states that his foot would be on our neck. That means he could gun us down in the streets and get away with it. Is that not happening? It's been happening, right? He said, no regards for the old and the young. You know that they fed our children to alligator. They look it up, you call, they used to call it alligator bait. All right then. So he's our fraternal twin brother, but his time is up. I'm ex-military. I'm telling you, no war coming. Right now, Russia, China got missiles pointed at this place right off the coast. And the in front of the face. Yeah, yes, they do. And so we got to come back to the Bible. The Bible has holy days, and Satan has folly days. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 10th chapter tells you they were putting up a Christmas tree before Christ was even born. Understand me? Mm -hmm. Easter is associated with the gardens of star. A dark going egg came down on the Euphrates River. Come on now. Rabbits don't lay eggs. Right. So we got to come back to the Bible. And like his non-messianic friend that I was talking to, Negroes like that, don't believe in Christ. But that's their only ticket. Because he showed me. Your name is Sylvester, right? Yeah. He recently showed me about three to four months that he can't trust the men these days because they, the ones that know this truth mm -hmm. and the ones that outside of this truth because they have reverted back to the seat of the Sadducees and Pharisees of power. It's not about power that I'm doing. This is about saving souls. He said in Isaiah the 11th chapter that he's going to smite the Egyptian sea mm -hmm. seven ways so we can go home. And he showed me this. I was being led by the Messiah. Guess who was in the middle? He's looking at her. Oh, you. Okay. He chose a woman this time. I told you that it's because that the men, they would rather see their gift on this earth than rather for the kingdom to come. In Matthew 6, he says, Thy kingdom come where? So that's the, as it is in heaven. On earth. On earth. The kingdom is coming here, so we got to repent. Come back to the Bible. And if we want to make a body here, in the instant we was taken out of Chicago. After I'm done prophesying, I've been doing this for prophesying for 10 years. I've been seeing since I was 13. After I'm done, the group of people is going to make it out of here. It's going to be taken out here in an instant. The Bible calls this place Revelations. 
uh, called it Babylon the Great in Revelation. Mm. In one hour, it's going to be taken down. Russia right now got missiles and destroy this place in 30 minutes. Oh, yeah, I know. So tell me the Bible's not real. It is. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 So, so, but you, <coughs> that was an out of body experience you had, right? Well, you, the, you, the, you. yes, the Bible calls them visions. Okay. I can see just like John, all of them, okay. the women like me in the Bible, Deborah, Susanna, mm -hmm. all of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it was like you were there, right? I was there. Okay. I was only there yeah. for 15 minutes, okay. but it felt like an eternity. I got you. So I've been seeing it for a long time, so can't nobody tell me nothing. Okay. My life almost taken me seven times to my seen. Blessed are the readers and the hearers of his word, for the time is at hand. Chicago will be the first to fall. Jamestown, Virginia will be the last. The last. 